Hello my sunshines, rainbows, orchids and moonlights, welcome back and hey to everyone that is new. Now if you can't tell by my face, I do look a little bit poorly today. I have got a chest infection, um, so normally my immune system is on fire, I'm normally really, really healthy, um, but this time I got a cold and it really landed on my chest. So if I stop coughing and start coughing and sneezing and things like that, um, just bear with me. I, doctors have given me some medication, but I'm not quite 100% yet. <laughs> However, I wanted to get this reading out to you and we're going to do what is your crush thinking about you. So deck number one and deck number two. Um, what else do I need to say? I hope you enjoyed the Salwen specials. They were really fun. Um, the podcast one was really fun and you, hopefully you got like a lot of information and fun facts and witchy tips and readings from that. Um, and also the one that we did on the channel. So hope you had a good time. And obviously on that note, go subscribe to the podcast if you haven't already done it. Day number one, day number two. Okay, what is your crush thinking about you? So how we work is what you need to do is push your energy into the deck that you are most drawn to. Then if you can't push it in, I just want you to visualize spirit saying a pink or green color going to the deck that most drawn that you are most drawn to this is the housewife tarot and this is the tales of tarot of tales one two okay let's go number one i felt like bringing the mood up a little bit by using more funky decks today because we've just had sawen um and we're just going through the shadow period as i said on the reading um the other day the Samhain period actually lasts three days. Everyone thinks it's the, the one night of Halloween. But you then have All Saints Day and All Souls Day on the 2nd of November. Um, so it's quite an important time of year. I wanted to make sure those kind of shadow energies were gone. Um, and then bring the mood up by using quite funky new decks. Well, funky decks. We're not new. I've had them a while. So what is your crush thinking about you? So we work on the collective energy between you all. So regardless of your individual circumstances, I go into the energy, I pull out the mutual energy between you all. Um, and if you need me for private readings, I am doing same day returns on voice note readings at this moment in time. Um, so you can drop me a message. They're only £10 a question as well. 10 GBP. So um, if you want your answer today, find me on Insta. Insta, Mr. Love Tarot. Or on Facebook, which is Mr. Love Tarot, but Insta's a little bit more active. Okay. <coughs> Here, there goes the bug. So what is your crush thinking about you? Right off the bat, we have a very positive energy coming through and we have a very, very stable energy. So for those of you that read tarot, let me show you what you got. You've got the page of pentacles. You've got judgment, judge or be judged. Don't look at the state of my nails. That's because I'm poorly. I'm going to hide that one from you. Uh, we've got, we got the high priestess, the half on, half off high priestess. We've got the nine of cups. And then the other two, only other card over here is staring me in the face is five of pentacles. And on the top of the deck, we also have the nine of swords. Okay, so this is what your crush is thinking, feeling, thinking about you. Your true, their true feelings. So there is wanting to be communication, okay? They are wanting to message you. They are perhaps a little bit naive and a little bit stupid when it comes to this situation. And they might be telling you things that perhaps they feel at this point in time they want to share with you. So you might be finding that they are going to be telling you that you are the one, that they, they want to be with you, that you are the biggest crush they've ever had and that they are really into you. Now there is truth in all of that. All of that, all of that that they are saying is absolutely true. Bona fide truth, Spirit saying to me. So they are really, really into you and it does the like messages of stability are going to be coming through. Now with that, the only thing that puts me a little bit on the wary lines is with it being a page, sometimes that comes with a sense of immaturity. So whilst they do have all these feelings and they do want all of this from you, be prepared that they might go a little bit cold on occasions as they pull away because they panic themselves and think, oh God, I've said all of these things. This is what I really actively want in this relationship, but um, I'm a little bit panicking over it all. Okay, so just bear that in mind. If you are out of contact, you are going to reignite that contact. If you are in contact and you are talking or you haven't spoke yet, this is a message to say it's either coming back around or communication is coming in. Okay, with judgment, this is talking about a renewal, a reconnection of the relationship. So you've got messages coming in which are going to reconnect the relationship, rebirth it, um, and bring in this positive energy. You have the high priestess, which is you guys watching. So, um, this is the magical side of things. This is your element that you are in control of this situation. You perhaps have been manifesting. <coughs> Excuse me. You've been manifesting, sending magic out to the universe. But well, this is your um, notification. Ding, ding. Your mystic notification to say that your prayers have been heard. And on here, the card says secret syrup. The mysteries of the universe are sweeter than you know. So 
Again, this is saying that everything is working out in the fa your favour. The universe is hearing what you're saying. Goddess are hearing what you're saying. Spirit are hearing what they're saying. And your prayers are going to be answered. So right off the bat, you have this very positive energy going on. Your crush your thoughts and feelings like, I want to message her. She's a child or, or him. Um, I'm never sexually orientated or gender specific on this channel, but we always work masculine and feminine energies, hence why I said her. So they, their thoughts are, I want to message you. I want to rebirth the connection. She's pretty, she slash he is pretty kick-ass. Okay, you're a pretty kick-ass person. And with that, the nine of cups over here, um, saying that they can see this future, they can see that this can work out with you guys. Really, really positive energy over here. So your crush would like to get to know you more, wants to talk to you more, um, is seeing that you're a very, very powerful individual. On a side note, the universe is listening to your call um, and wants to see how it all unravels. So they are really, really into you. The only two cards that <coughs> give me a little bit the, the more negative cards, not that they are, we have negatives and positives in tarot, but the heavier energy, the shadow side of things, is we have the Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords, okay? So the Five of Pentacles over here is talking about your person feeling a little bit lonely, a little bit sorry for themselves. And with the Nine of Swords, this is their fears coming up to the surface. So their fears of the situation with regard to you is that they have a fear of rejection, they have a fear of an abandonment, they have a fear that perhaps you're not actually that into them. Um, and this is what's kind of coming up to the surface. They've been hurt before, wondering if they're going to get hurt again. But overall, they want to see where this connection goes. So even though these fears are here, any kind of relationship, love and fear of equal counterparts, and just like summer and winter at, at Midsummer's Day. So you have this relationship between the two of you where love and fear are quite balanced. Okay, it's quite a balanced relationship. And anywhere there is love, there can be fear. It's like the shadow and the light. Okay, we can't just have all light all the time. We can't just have all light on the time. And it's the same with magic, you know. Um, people always think love and light and we, we get scared of the shadow side of things. But you don't need to be scared of the shadows. Uh, shadows are a massive part of life, just like in the seasons, okay? So the shadow side of this relationship is they're a little bit frightened of fear of rejection. But the beautiful side of this relationship and they're crushing on you is that they want to see how it all goes out and they are really into you. So if you need me to look at your situations individually, just give me a shout. Like I said, I'm doing same day return on voice note readings on Instagram and Facebook today. Okay, guys, <laughs> if you can cope with me being sick. Deck number two. Okay, if you just tapped in, tuned in, turned on deck number two, I hope you enjoyed the Halloween Sewn specials that I've done on the channel, the podcast. If you haven't subscribed, go subscribe. Or listen on Spotify, YouTube, YouTube podcast, podcast. I can't remember what it's called. Tubecasts or something. Um, it's on all the sites, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, all of that. You can find us and have a listen to free weekly readings, a free weekly reading of tarot and astrology. How can you get better than that? Um, okay, so we are doing your person's crush, your crush, the crush that they have on you. What are their true feelings? So someone asked me why we only work with two decks. We only work with two decks because that is all I need to do when I'm in spirit communication. Because spirit will give you the answers on the collective energy between you all. So we don't actually need another deck because when you push your energy in at the start, we're going back to the start. So... That is a Coldplay song coming in for you guys. Four. And let's get one more. And then we shall tell you what they're saying. Oh, here we go. Okay. So what have we got with you and your crush? Now, your person has is having a bit of a wake-up call over the situation. So the tower's jumping in, okay? There is a wake-up call going on with them. So you can have big T towers or little T towers. Now, for those of you that don't read tarot, tower is when everything collapses around you. It's, it's probably one of the more shadowy aspects of tarot. It's one of the more difficult cards, okay? Now, the fact that this has come up in their reading about their thoughts, their true thoughts and feelings about you, is showing that where they have been at, up until this point in time, they've been sugarcoating things, they haven't been dealing with situations, perhaps they've been a bit of an arsehole. Whatever the, your individual circumstances in, this tower has hit them. OK, or about to hit them. So the big T tower or the little T tower will be arguments, conflicts or tension 
or big things happening like they lose you, they wonder where you are, what's actually happening. This tower will be the wake up call that they need. And sometimes we have to let shit hit the fan in order for it to be rebuilt. And this is what's happening. So your person is about to rebuild the connection with you, but it's got to fall apart first. OK, now what's going to cause it to fall apart? It looks like we have the world coming in over here. So this is talking about endings and new beginnings. OK, we also have the seven of pence too. So. They've been working through the situation and perhaps they haven't been really ready to embrace it. OK, they've been kind of on the shelf a little bit, a little bit cautious, a little bit wary. Um, so whilst they've been on the shelf, they've realised that perhaps they've lost you. Perhaps you've gone off with someone else. Perhaps you're not into them. There has been this kind of fear that's come up to the surface and that tower is about to erupt. Now, Spirit also saying to me that they might hear news of you doing something um a little bit more fun so they might see pictures on your socials about going out partying things like that and they're going to be like oh wait hold on a second i thought you had a crush on me and now you're moving on with your life what happens there and that is when that tower hits okay so things are going to fall apart around them in order for it to be rebuilt with the connection between you guys seven of pentacles at the moment they are working through um the situation with you they're working out what it what they want and they are literally they've been sowing the seeds for growth to happen in this connection okay so we've got a lot of seed selling and with the world coming in this is talking about coming together adjoining and success so this tower has to hit your person in order for them to plant the seeds of new growth and have a new beginning where you merge together with success pretty cool huh and we've also got the three of cups and the lovers so these two cards over here celebrations parties joy fun things happening with you and the lovers is the connection between the two of you now on that note for some of you guys and you will know that i'm talking about you this could be a third party so there could be someone else involved in the situation um and it might not be someone it could sometimes be drugs alcohol um egg any kind of escapism behaviour can be happening with this card over here as well. Okay, so it could be an influence or something else on this situation. Sometimes family can come into it. So you have that happening with your person. But overall, they are going to go through this wake up call of what they want with this situation with you. So when we're looking at your crush's thoughts and feelings for you, we have this. I want to get to know you better. Let's go party. You're probably going to meet them at some kind of social events and things like that. Let's go get to know each other. I see that there is really good potential between us. I see that we can build this connection up and see where we go. Um, but I have to work through my own shit first. And once I've worked through that, then that's when this can move forward. So there might be a few delays for some of you guys on things actively taking steps forward. Um, also, your person might be going through some kind of other shit as well, other things happening around them, which is making them feel quite heavy hearted. So just bearing that in mind that it could be a little bit slow movement. It could be a little bit slow progression, but you will know when this tower hits because they will automatically start making this kind of heavier actions towards you. This, this more, I want to speak to you and I want to speak to you now and let's get through this. Let's sort it all out and let's progress forward. So if you need me for a same day return on voice note readings, do give me a shout. It's just Mr. Love Tarot on Instagram. You can find me over there um i also do i've got spaces for video readings if you need it um my instagram i've re rejigged it in all neon it's, it looks pretty cool i think um i think um and that's it guys so i'm sorry it's such a short reading today like i said i'm not feeling very well so just wanted to leave that energy with you have a totally blessed day drop me a message if you need me and i love you all lots bye guys